time. It's time for some oats. Put some oats in your bowl. And let's dig in. Hey everyone, it's me, the dude from the Dinosaur and the Dude. And this is another oats. Um, so I kind of mentioned this on the previous one where uh, <laughs> it was going to be a probably another another I had two things I wanted to talk about and so this is the second one so I was trying to figure out how to approach this one but it's happened enough for me to be like okay I kind of feel like I need to capture this and 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 speak it out there for everyone else to know do any of you have friends that are acquaintances shockingly i don't have a lot of friends so whatever but the ones that i do have or the ones that i associate with it enough that they consider me to be their friend do you ever find that for some reason or another they decide they're going to find someone for you. And and so they become matchmakers for you. Because <laughs> they know someone that's going to be just the way, you know, just your type, just the way you like them kind of thing. <sighs> Being an ambersand, it's one of those points of recognition where you're like, hey, I need a relationship to be X and Y and fucking Z. I can't really just have one element in that in that relationship. And that's that's just how it is. But that might not be the thing that all my friends or people that consider me their friend. Um, no, I, I, I don't really. I don't really include everyone in my preferences for who I would like to be in a relationship with. And maybe some other people out there that are the same way, and that's fine. I, I mean, we are how we are, and we all have preferences regardless if we want to admit to it or not. We all do. We all do. I mean, fuck it. We have preferences in regards to the cereal that we eat. So believe we we do have preferences in relation to who we're in a relationship with, whether it's just purely platonic or purely sexual you know across the across the gamut anyway as the dinosaur will attest she's probably i mean i think i think she's probably the only person well there's one other person i know of there's one other person I don't know of, and she's been pretty good at it too. Uh, but uh, the dinosaur is one of the p- people that you've heard, probably you've heard in previous episodes, was talking about, which she sat down with me and it's like, okay, we're going to come up with a list of of um, what you're liking. God damn it, I need to find that fucking list because that list is so. It's a time capsule of amazingness that I I need to find it. But in any case, this is a cautionary oats you know, for for everyone. Just be aware that your friends have good intentions when they're trying to be the matchmaker. But also note that you don't know all the people that your friends know, or if they're not really, you know died in the wool friends that kind of just strong acquaintances you don't you don't really know what they're all about they might be trying to pass off a dumpster fire to you that you know 
this friend of theirs that really needs somebody to be in a relationship with them. And you know what? You need someone. They need someone here. You two meet up and then hopefully you two will attach with each other long enough for for us to get away. You might be <laughs> inheriting a dumpster fire. The guy was in a relationship with someone and her friend literally told me, she sat me down and she looked at me. She's like, you know, she's crazy, right? And at the time it was, I think at the time there was a certain naivete with me because like, you know, but you don't know. There's a definition in regards to what is crazy. What is, well, crazy how? Explain your crazy. Let's compare notes. I feel crazy, like, <laughs> awesome time, never a dull moment. Crazy. Uh, but you might, you might have some, some, you might have some interesting uh, perspective where you, you've seen them with a fucking, uh, uh, a fucking little, pop-up puppet like fucking prince and purple rain or some shit i don't know so i guess it's a it's a thing where like some people give you these clues of like yeah so kind of heed those two while you're in this whole little my friend set me up with someone phase in your relationship finding i myself i'm i'm really like out and about looking for for someone, uh, but uh, recently, recently others have have take, taken it upon themselves to uh, find someone for me. Uh, we have we have someone that oh we know you'll love her, you'll love her. They oh amazing and. At the same time, like I said, being an ambassador, I'm just sort of like, eh, will she though? Because there's, you know, the, I mean, dinner here and there and hanging out. That's one thing. But, um, uh, yeah. And I'm not saying it's just me. I'm saying, you know, the opposite is the same, too. I'm sure this other person uh, might have things that they are all about, too, that they're just sort of like, eh, I don't know if I want to include this person and that my friends are setting me up with into everything that I'm about. And, you know, so it goes both ways. I think the the friends that 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 either of us are acquainted with um you know they're just the middle person they're just to connect they're they're just making shit happen they're not really diving deep into all the aspects of the individual to see how how well they match up so there's some there are some elements of which you need to take your rose colored glasses off and really look at that person be like okay yeah 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 awesome I mean, and if, and if and if sex is all that you're going out for, then you know, just be upfront with that and say, "Hey, look, it's really only for sex." I mean, and if you're not good with that, okay, cool. I'm I'm just letting you know where I'm at right now in regards to a relationship. Uh, if you're not like that, I mean, if you if you like that for a little bit of time, and then eventually you want to go into something serious, okay. I might be there by the time you're done with the whole sex part, but right for right now, that's where I'm at. And if that's the case, then cool. Then at least you're being up front and or they're being up front with you. And you have the means of processing and be like, okay, yeah, I I want more or or that's cool with me or whatever. And then the more it goes, you, you open up however you feel is appropriate. But just watch out for that one friend that is trying to tell you something, but they're not wanting to come off like they're cock or pussy blocking. 
they they're trying to like hey so you know this is what this is what you're going to experience and if you're cool with that okay and i think that for me i've had it in 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 a way i've had that experience in a way where i've like i said in the previous example been approached by one of those friends and told that and just sort of like oh yeah <laughs> okay thanks and then realize oh shit that's what they were trying to tell me i i mean i that's what the yeah and to the point that in that previously mentioned relationship i sat down with that person and was like yeah they told me you were crazy uh before we got together it was like hey you know what e she's crazy and they they asked me it was like well what did how did, how did they say i was crazy how crazy how i was like Ow. I don't know. They never elaborated. I was like, well, do you think I'm crazy? It's like, I mean, clearly not. I mean, not to the degree that I'm alarmed by it, but what do I fucking know? So it's always interesting. So again, back to what I was originally wanting to do this new segment of, oh, and another thing is just look out for that. You know, look out for, try to see through the, 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 the all well intentions of your friends and acquaintances taking up the, the, the mantle of being a matchmaker. If they have this person that they just love and think that they're the best and, oh, wow, oh they're so amazing. Oh, you're going to love them. Ah, oh, there's just great. Oh, they love to do those things too, just like you. Ah, oh, you two should be a couple. <laughs> Enter that situation with do it during the day. <laughs> don't, don't do anything at night. <laughs> don't do don't do anything at night. Do it during the day. Do it. Do it where you meet somewhere that you know all the the, the exes and shit. Um, you know, call me, call me paranoid, but I've had, a, I've had my share of stalkers and it's just really a thing you don't want to walk into, uh, blindly. You want to, you want to be fully aware. So thanks to all the, the people that want to set me up with someone. Um, I think the people that really know me will probably have a little caution with that because they know kind of sort of what I'm really like or all about. Plus, like we mentioned in the previous episodes, you kind of want to have your goals already set up with, you know, hey, great. Uh, and this is what I told the people that 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 uh, recently are looking for someone for me. It's like, hey, you know what my goals are, so I really don't want to waste time with someone that eventually doesn't want to really... Um, recognize my goals. Like I'm a rec- I'm a recognize their goals and desires and things that they want to achieve and help them out and be be with them, support them as much as I can with that. But then also I'm gonna be wanting to do my own thing. So they need to also reciprocate in that support. Um and if they and if that support means they're just not going to be in that relationship, then that's what it is because some people just can't but have to be in an two relationships where people have bowed out solely because they finally realize that they can't really commit, especially if I'm trying to achieve what my goals are. You know, it's like, oh, okay, I know I initially said I would, but no, you know what? I can't. Then that's that. You know, one of those things that you wish you would have heard or found out sooner, and then you kind of feel like, well, why the fuck did you spend all this time, you know, telling me that you were down with it and then not a whole nother thing, a um, whole nother topic to discuss. But that's neither, that's not anything to really bog yourself down with, especially if you tell your matchmakers, like, look, you know my goals, you know what I'm all about. So don't try to hook me up with someone that, you know, 
that wants to only be a farmer in Topeka, Kansas, or something like that. Nothing wrong with Topeka, nothing wrong with Kansas or any other farmer of any kind of thing. It's just not where I want to be, where where I'm striving and focusing on on, on being. So, you know, it, obviously that's a mis, mismatch right there. So that's all I wanted to um, wanted to enlighten you all with in this segment i hope that you all are having a great time great day great weekend great uh great uh whatever you're doing as long as it's safe healthy and um if it's not safe and healthy you know be a little reckless from time to time do some unhealthy things from time to time but also remember dial it back and be make make sure you're doing the right things for yourself you know because you guys are cool. You're cool. You're a awesome person. And um, I mean it. I think that a lot of times people don't get to hear that. And especially for someone that they've never met, they're like, okay, what the fuck? You don't know me? Well, you're right. I don't. But I do know that there's a degree of awesomeness in all of us, um, whether we want to admit it or not, see it or not. So stop focusing on the bad shit. It's easy to do. Dig down and look at those little grains and morsels of good shit. I guarantee you there's more of that than the big bad shit. So sweep all the good shit morsels together and it'll be bigger than the bad shit. I hope that made sense because I just fucking fucked that up making, trying to make something up right there. In any case, um, enjoy your rest of your day. Thanks for giving me however much time this is, 18 minutes, whatever the fuck. I don't know. In any case, uh, again, <clears throat> watch out for your friends that want to set you up with somebody. They might have good intentions, but they might be giving you a dumpster fire friend that they're hopefully, hopefully going to dump onto someone else. Uh, or they might have, like I said, really great intentions. Just they don't know the ins and outs of you. So just give them, some, give them a clue. You don't have to give them deep stuff like sexual preferences or something like that, or maybe you do. Uh, but at least tell them your goals. Like, hey, I'm looking to do this. I'm looking to do that. If she, if if they are into that, if she, he, it, them, they, whatever, is into that, then great. If not, okay. Now you know your search can go on, um, however you want. In any case, once again, hope you enjoyed the segment of oh, and another thing. As we drop oats uh, from time to time, and I, this one is just sort of close to the last one because I mentioned I had two things to talk about, and I didn't want to put both of them in the same segment. All right. Love you all. Take care. <laughs>